Okay, sneaking up on the summit in. Uh, this is one side of Snoqualmie that definitely was not here back in the 60s, I don't think. So, the area I skied and where the uh, Pacific Crest bounces through is up. Up uh, by the Summit Inn, which I'll uh, be getting to uh, in the near future. Alright. I don't know whether this is rainy clouds or other kind of clouds, but it's dry so far. I have arrived at the Summit Inn. Uh, the PCT comes down right out of that draw up there. That's, uh, we'll be looking southbound. And uh, this is the area that I was skiing on in 1962. That's about all they had. And northbound PCT comes out and uh, heads this side of that uh, big uh, pinnacle rock there and then uh, transits off to the right up, uh, headed up toward uh, Stevens Pass. So, we're going to go into the Summit Inn and see about some charging and food. Yeah, wait for the others. As the sign says, this is the Hayak Trailhead, which uh, is the, I guess, the eastern end of the tunnel. Uh, the tunnel being that away around the corner. And uh, straight over here is a little splitter road that go goes down to a frontage road that follows uh, I-90 back uphill into Snoqualmie Pass where the Summit Inn and all the uh, mini marts and all that stuff is. <clears throat> but it um, uh, looks like we're headed this way, hopefully over toward a little hamlet called Easton. Clay Elm is just uh, beyond that. So I'll just have to see what sort of facilities. Looking for something that's you know, kind of like this, bathrooms, picnic table. Typical, easy going stuff. And it would be nice if the sun made a little bit more of an appearance. I'm guessing it will the more east we go. And there's our distinguished group having lunch. Okay, just left the uh, Hayak, I guess, parking lot by Snoqualmie Pass area, coming down the side of this lake toward uh, Easton. Well, more of the same lake. There's the dam up ahead. So, yeah, now we're into comfort riding here. It's level. Temperature is nice. Okay, the Nasty Devil's Club, I think is what it's called. I see the spikes on the stem, and I think the milky sap could be a problem if you got it in your eye. Anyway, something to avoid. So, where the heck is it? We're on the hunt for the little glass insulators and that pole still has some on it, but they're not being too friendly. And unfortunately, there's not a tree branch that looks like it can get up to them, but uh, Maryland's trying. Oh, we got commercial traffic. Okay, where's this park? 
We'll uh, name this the F8. This is the flyby we just saw. Ah, uh, love horses. Thank you. Have yeah. a good ride. Thank you, yeah. I'll trade you. You want to ride a bike? I'll ride your horse. <laughs> oh, good looking animals. Wow. And then there's a train over there, which we didn't see. We heard it. So obviously they put a new line in off of this one. That's our train going by and I guess uh, we have a little fork in the road here but you're saying we should go straight right? Maybe? Yeah. I don't even know. But I see a lot of blue sky and I like that. Oh there's the end of the train. Oh we missed it. We're crossing the Yakima River. Pretty river. So this is the bridge over uh, Yakima River and Easton State Park. I assume the state park probably encompasses this whole lake. Uh, I-90 is in there. And uh, the railroad, obviously, is in front of this. And uh, this is the Yakima River flowing in. So we are pretty doggone close to a camp spot for tonight, I would think. That looks like something over there. I wonder if that's the campground. Well, and uh, it's 10 after 5. So, still a lot of daylight left to go a short distance to camp and have a nice evening, I think. I hope. I think I've ridden. Or have I ridden? Well, it says 30 miles, but I think I need to deduct at least two and a half net miles. So in the high 20s today, that includes an out and back to Snoqualmie and uh, going through the tunnel, which didn't record.